Interesting. Let's try another one. A black rectangle. I don't feel anything. Well, that's good, Lily. Right, Dr. Tuff? Yes, a normal response so far. Now, here it comes. Control yourself. Oh, no. She was doing so well. Lily! Lily! I went Teddy again, didn't I? I tried not to get excited. I know you did. It's those Teddy reflexes of yours. They're very, very sensitive. Can you fix them, Dr. Tuff? They'll fix themselves. When? Before Christmas? I get really excited at Christmas. It will happen little bits at a time as you grow. But teddy bears don't grow. They grow inside. Just keep practicing your control. Okay. But what can I do that doesn't make me get too excited? Don't worry, Lily. I'll help you find some fun things to do. <sighs> Thanks, Ben. didn't make you too excited. Maybe your teddy reflexes are getting better already. Hmm. <gasps> Lily, the marching band needs new members. I'm sure you could handle this. It'd be good practice for you. <laughs> Don't you like the idea? I thought you'd be excited. I see. Come on, let's get you signed up. The roster of teddies is top notch this year, Winifred. I noticed Left Feet Louie didn't make an appearance for sign up. Mm. Good thing, too. That bear couldn't march a straight line if he had a handrail. Hello, General. Hello, Winifred. Hmm, who's this young teddy, Benjamin? Uh, this is my friend Lily. She'd like to join your marching band. No recruit, eh? Let's have a look at you. Hmm. Good posture. Very important in a marching band, you know. Well, General, what do you think? Hmm. I think she'll be perfect. <laughs> Easy now, Lily. Hmm? Okay. Up you get. Oh, she, she's not going to do that when she's marching, I hope. Oh, no, sir. She's getting that under control. She'll be fine. I've just finished sewing a button on a uniform that's just your size. And here's your instrument. There. See? No problem. Good, because this is going to be our best marching band ever! 
Go and join the others. I'll be along shortly with your marching orders. so far. Hi, guys. Oh, uh, is she all right? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. When she sees someone big, or I mean uh, someone different, no, I, I mean, I mean... Oh, I know what you mean. Is he gone now? Oh, don't worry. I'm leaving before I scare anyone else. Raymond, oh no, come back! Lily, Raymond is a teddy bear, just like the rest of us. I'm sorry, Ben. I couldn't help it. I say, <gasps> Raymond, where do you think you're going? Raymond? Oh, dear. Bad news travels fast. <laughs> Rehearsal tomorrow at 2100 hours. Get this sorted out by then, Benjamin. How can you fix a problem like this, Ben? Well, think of something. Come on, let's take you home. You've had enough excitement for one day. How am I going to fix this? I have to get Lily and Raymond to feel good about themselves. But how? <gasps> ah! oh. huh. Just a little spider. Hmm. See, there's someone I'd like to introduce you to. Stay right here. Hey, who turned out the light? Ben, is that you? Relax, both of you. I have a surprise. Lily, Raymond, meet your shadows. Uh, uh, hello, Shadow. <laughs> Hi, Shadow! I thought it would be nice for your shadows to get acquainted. Uh, since when do shadows know about anything? Well, that's why we're here. The more your shadows know about each other, the more you two will understand the teddies attached to them. My shadow likes music! Oh, mine too! There you go. We're off to a good start. And you both like to dance. I really like to dance. I can do a pirouette. Oh, me too. Whoa. <laughs> it takes a bit of practice. <laughs> yeah, hey, I can make a bunny. Want to see? Sure, Raymond. A boingy. <laughs> a boingy, a boingy, a boingy. A boingy? I can hop on one foot. So can I. <laughs> How about an elephant? I bet we'd make good elephants. Mm, that would be great. We could... Hey, wait a minute. You're big. <gasps> and I'm not going teddy. Oh, that's great, Lily. Well done. You know what this means. You can both rejoin the marching band. Uh, the General's going to be glad to hear that. Thanks a lot, Ben. You're welcome. I'm always happy when I can help my friends. Come on, Raymond! We have a marching band practice to get to! 
Might as well practice on the way. Hup, two, three, four. Hup, two, three, Like it's never been led before. And Lily marches like she's been at it for years. Good job you sorted things out. Glad I could help, General. Uh, come again? Glad I could help. I can't hear a word you're saying with these air plugs. Take these. Believe me, you'll be needing them in the next few weeks. Remembers by Edgar of Old. Perfect. Oh, here's more paper. Thanks, Howie. Have you got a book done yet? Uh, oh, no. I'm still printing the title page. That's all? You'd better go faster, Ben. His crackers told me there's already a waiting list to borrow it. Well, the library will just have to wait. Making a book takes a lot of time. Whew. Especially on a printing press that's older than Edgar. Uh, pass me that ink roller, would you, Howie? Thanks. Uh, Ben, did you know you put all the letters backwards? Yes, I know. That's how a printing press works. See, when the ink transfers to the paper, it reads the right way. Wow, printing's really neat. Can I run the printing press? Sorry, Howie. That's a job for a big bear. But you can hand me some paper. Aw, oh, come on, Ben. Why do big bears get to do all the fun stuff? Whoops. My paw must have touched the ink roller. And that's why this is a job for a big bear. Don't touch anything. I'll find a rag. A teddy remembers. Oh, at last. Thank you, Ben. I must have ten teddies a day asking to read Edgar's memoirs. Ah, oh, finally. I can't wait to see how many times he mentions my name in his fond memories. Hmm. He's obviously unaware that Biggle Boars always go first. Don't worry, Sebastian. Ben will have more copies printed very soon. Oh, really? And how soon is very soon? Hmm? Well, it, it is a rickety old printing press and... Oh, spare me your petty excuses. Any teddy with a stitch of gumption would have ten books done by now. Gee, Ben, if you'd let me try the press too, we'd get the job done twice as fast. I told you, Mr. Inky Paws, running the press is a job for big bears. But I'm big enough right now. Yes, your size is fine, but you need to become more responsible. That'll happen as you gain more experience. What kind of experience? Sorry, Howie, I can't talk about it right now. I need to get some pages printed before I teach my Go Teddy class. I'll see you over there, buddy. Howie, it's time to start gaining experience. <laughs> Howie, after Ben's Go Teddy class, you want to go skateboarding? Gee, I'd really like to, Holly, but I'll be too busy studying this book on teddy rules. How come? I'm gaining experience so I can be a big bear. 
I want Ben to notice. He should be here soon. We can't start without a teacher. Hey, that would be a good experience. Attention, everyone. Ben is a bit late today, so while we're waiting, let's do some warm-ups. Time for some Teddy Toe Touches. And one. And... <laughs> <laughs> Attention! Not each other's toes, your own toes. That's better. Ahem. Now then, every teddy knows going teddy is an important part of being a teddy bear. Staying perfectly still takes practice. So when I give the command to go teddy... Hey, I didn't say it yet. <laughs> Come on, this is serious. <laughs> I can't let Ben see me allowing all this climbing around. Oh, sorry I'm late, everyone. Who's ready to go Teddy? Hey, didn't Howie make it? Yeah, he was just here. He was teaching the class because you were late. Teaching the class? What would make him think of doing that? He said something about being a big bear. Oh. Hi, Howie. What you doing? I'm getting ready for tonight's Teddy Council meeting. You want to go skateboarding with me first? Sorry, Holly. I have to go remind everyone about the meeting. I'm a big bear now. What about having fun sometime? Fun? That's for Teddy Tots. He's not a big bear. He's a big boar. Hello, Sebastian. I don't like being disturbed when I'm savoring a parfait. I'll be quick. I'm presenting my big idea tonight at the Teddy Council meeting. Don't miss it. You? Presenting an idea? Great fluff! What next? An exciting Teddy construction project. But you'll have to come to the meeting to hear the details. Catch you later. Hey, Toots, don't forget about the council meeting tonight. And when the bees visit those flowers, you'll taste it in their honey. Lavender honey, you say? Mmm. Council approves Finnegan's Lavender Garden. Oh, thank you, thank you. This will be so much fun. <laughs> More lavender? I feel a sneeze coming on just thinking about it. What are you doing, Howie? You'll see. Um, Edgar? Ah, one of our youngsters has something to say. Why don't you come up here and use my chair so everyone will see and hear you better? Great. Oh, no. Go ahead, Howie. You have the floor. Ahem. I have an idea to build a tunnel from the Honey Garden Cafe to the relocation center. That way, teddies can easily go back and forth without the oh. risk of being seen. Preposterous. Do you realize how far apart they are? An operation of that size and scale would be next to impossible. Besides, we... General, settle down. It's certainly a big idea, Howie. One that needs more thinking. You really think so? Yes! <laughs> well, that's enough for tonight. Meeting adjourned. Ben, did you hear Edgar? A big idea from a big bear. Maybe you'll let me run the printing press now, huh? Becoming a big bear doesn't just happen overnight. I've gained a lot of experience since yesterday. I'll tell you what, I'll let you run the paper punch. That's all? Just make holes? For now, we'll see how you do with that job. Okay. So, Ben, what do you think of A Teddy Remembers? I'm sorry, Edgar, but I've been too busy printing them to read them. Well, I strongly advise you read the last chapter. It's a real page turner. Howie, could you please bring me some more paper while I ink up the press? All right. Hmm. I wonder what's so interesting about the last chapter. What do you do when a young bear is ready for a new challenge? You encourage him, of course. I remember as if it were yesterday, the first time I put Benjamin Bear in charge of his Teddy's scout troop. 
and the satisfaction I felt watching him learn from the experience, whether he succeeded or not. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, I was just remembering the time I got lost with my Teddy Scout troop. <laughs> Thank Teddy, Edgar came to our rescue. Was he mad? Edgar? Oh, no. He taught me to use a compass, and I was fine after that. So, you want me to punch some holes now? Hmm. No. I want you to try running this printing press. I think you'll learn something. You mean I'm finally a big bear? <laughs> well, not yet. But you have to start somewhere. I know I did. <laughs> Doing a great job, Howie. <laughs> What's the matter? Running the press isn't as much fun as I expected. It's a lot of hard work. Would you like me to take over? You don't mind? I'd sort of like to go skateboarding with Holly. <laughs> sure. Go ahead. Thanks, Ben. Catch you later. Hi, Edgar. Guess what? I printed the last page of your book. Very good. I'm glad to see how he learned something from this experience. Did you learn anything? I sure did. Small teddies running a printing press need supervision, even if there are only two words on the page. And the. <laughs> <laughs>